Hello everybody, before we get started with today's video, I need to go ahead and shill my secondary channel again, of course, Rogamp 2. And if you haven't been following, I've been doing a lot of different stuff on there. For example, since the last time you see me on Rogamp 1, I've filled an ink cartridge with ink, did like a 13 and a half hour stream, I exploded a computer twice, uh, reviewed some antiviruses, so a lot of stuff going on, so you should definitely check that out. So, today we are talking about a rogue called Antivirus Plus 2015, and this is, it's sort of a clone. We've seen this skin at least a few times over the years, and you'll probably recognize it, so we'll go ahead and run it. It says it's from Samsung Electronics Scan Assistant. Go ahead and run it, and oh my god, oh, what is it doing to Windows 10? By the way, we are running Windows 10, the new build 10,041, which is nice, and it appears to have, like, killed the clock, sort of. Okay, it's, like, still there, but it's invisible, and we still have the notification thing. I'm not really sure what's going on here, and our start menu is, is killed. This is really interesting. Okay, I was not ready for this. I have not actually tested this yet, so any of these results are very interesting, and... Not entirely sure if this is completely due to the Rogue itself, or if uh, Windows 10 is just kind of breaking because it's a beta, alpha, whatever. Anyway, so we have the scanner. Looks like the same scanner we've seen over the years several times. Privacy Keeper, Firewall, Global Settings, Update Settings, all good stuff. Let's see if we can even do anything here. Can't type into the search bar, it's pretty much killed. We can open Task Manager, which is good. Although, as soon as we expand it, it, like... Oh no, it's it's killing itself every time. That's a bit annoying. Let's try Help and Support and see what we can get. I'm not seeing anything. Um, let's see... Okay, I am not able to open the Get Full Time Protection thing. Try activating now. Okay, so that page will open. For whatever reason, the other pages are just not opening with this at all. Pay either 60 euros for one year or 89 euros for three years. Good looking software. Excellent, excellent. So let's see if I can figure out how to remove this because I haven't actually run this this is the first time I've actually gotten this to work, so I'm not sure how it's going to go, especially with Windows 10. I'm going to try to find a way to get into safe mode. And I'm sure people are trying to tell me right now how to get into safe mode, but I'm not listening. So, I'm going to try to hold down shift, I believe, at startup. Let's try that. Or actually, here, I can do it from here. Okay, so I, so you want to do control, delete, and then you go to your power options down here, and then... Hold down shift, hold down shift and hit restart. And then this will get you to the safe mode menu, which is different from Windows 7, which is what I'm used to using. So we'll go ahead and do troubleshoot, I suppose. I want to do an advanced option. I want to do um. Why can't I just do safe mode? Startup settings? Um, yeah, do do safe mode. That's what I want. I don't know why it's got to be such a problem. Anyway. Okay, there we go. We got another menu. Uh, we want to do safe mode with networking, so we'll hit 5. And hopefully this will work. Okay, so we're signing in. The resolution is kind of messed up, but that's okay. Okay, um, we have an error from Explorer saying unknown hard error, or whatever that means. 
And Explore is still jacked up. Like, I have no idea what happened to it. We have a lot of stuff disabled on here. What even happened? What happened to the clock? What happened to anything? Can we run anything on here? We can run Task Manager. So let's just get I Explore going. I gotta say, it's really hard to see anything on here. Okay, so we got Internet Explorer running. Good. All right, we're making progress. And we're gonna download Malwarebytes because I am really hoping that it'll help us here. Malwarebytes.org. Okay. So I have to kind of assume that this would work a lot better on either Windows 8.1 or Windows 7. I'm just gonna give um, not really the benefit of the doubt, but I'm just going to hope that this is simply due to Windows 10 being a beta or alpha or whatever pre-release. So the rogue kind of just broke everything. Except the agreement. Okay, whatever. And I apologize for this video quality. This is honestly how it looks on my monitor, so uh, there's not much I can really do about it at this point. So we're just going to go ahead and launch Malwarebytes. And it's going to do automatic database update something or other. Go ahead and do a scan, threat scan, scan that. And let's hope it works. All right, our scan has completed and we have two detected files. Hopefully this will fix Explorer. I kind of have a feeling that it's completely broken Explorer and we'll have to do a startup repair or something, which is really no big deal. So we'll just go ahead and click remove selected. It tells us to restart now, click yes, go ahead and do that. And let's pray and do some animal sacrifice or something, I don't know. Hopefully it'll be saved. So it's restarting. So far, so good. Now, this definitely should have removed the fake antivirus, at least. Hopefully, Malwarebytes has fixed Explorer. Let's see it. Oh, it has! Holy crap. I honestly wasn't expecting that. All right, sweet. So, that is all for antivirus plus 2015, I believe. So... Thanks, everybody, for watching. Be sure to check the links in the description, and take care.